When the Super Note first came out, it's always had kind of a robust headings feature, keyword feature, uh, cal calendaring you could always add to the calendar. And then they added to that with the to-do function. But you could never combine those. You could never make those work together in any real way. Now you can. I don't know when it happened. I don't know uh, why Supernote hasn't really jumped on this and said, hey, we do something that I don't think anybody else does. And let me show you how that looks. So as I've shown in the past, and I, I'll put down in the description my other video on the to-do and the calendar for much more in-depth coverage of how they work independently. But I want to show this. When you put these to-do items in, if you start them from a notebook, you get this backlink is what I'll call it. But you get this and that will take you to the notebook where this task originated or where this to-do originated. So you'll see I have two here. I have a test to-do if I go on that one, you're going to see it's just if I had a to-do and I wanted to be able to take notes on it or just very free form, and I could do that right here. Because I started at the to-do screen, if I go back, I go back to the to-do screen, which is really kind of cool. So it's almost using this, and I've done a video before on using the calendar as your home page, but you could in effect use this as a kind of a home page or a landing page go into your to do's for the day or the week and start ticking those off but what's really cool is a lot of people have been asking for subtasks how do i create subtasks within the to do and this is where it gets interesting if i go into this other one that says with subtasks it's going to take me to this template and maybe I'll do a custom template or I'll try and find one that allows me to not have this piece here at the top with the date uh, because I'm not sure that I really want that. I, I did put the date that I marked this whole task is due and I put the day that is. So it, it can be useful, but it makes it kind of hard to put the title on. So I've put this title. What's really awesome about the title is if I go here you'll see that I've also turned some of the subtasks into a title. And I've turned one of them into a keyword. So if you look at task one there, it exists here on the header and it exists in a keyword. Pretty cool. And that task with subtasks that you saw on the to-do exists here as well but that's not it i mean that's cool enough and if you go to these different pages you go to task one now i've changed the template on this i've made it into a page i can take notes i can add a new page here in between the other pages it's it makes it a really functional way to keep all of a task that may have a lot of moving parts and pieces i could link out to other notebooks it's almost in some ways thinking like a second brain at this point. And I know that term gets overused sometimes, but it really is because I could add in links to all these different files if I wanted to. But the cool part is you also, by going to the links, get these back buttons to jump right back to wherever you were, wherever you started from within this note. And then if you go back, with this top button, you're back to the overall task list. So it's a really quick way, even faster, I would say, than quick access to kind of navigate your projects and your notes. But let's go back into the subtask one because I have one more thing that is really cool to show you. So I've shown you that this is a heading. It's also a to-do. It's also a key or one of the pages is a keyword. I could have made this one a keyword as well. And and this is where it's really interesting. It's also a calendar event. Say what? That's crazy. Pull this down. Let's go to our calendar. And now you'll see on the 28th, you can see task with subtask. And that stays in that same view if I go to the weekly. If I go to the daily, it does a Google type thing. It puts it at the very top in this top line above 
my overall you know daily outline and i can see my tasks there really cool it's a, a neat way it's almost like combining uh, in google when you can add your to your tasks to your calendar it's similar to that uh, but what you do is when you create it you just make it an all-day event and when you do that it shoves it to the top of everything else and makes it so it's really easy to see and then for additional clarity, I could always write it in, but you don't have to because it shows here. Really functional. Now, the kicker, this syncs with my Google Calendar, so I can't really show you the, the whole thing because I don't want to go onto Google for my work calendar and show you what this integration looks like. But it's right there. It syncs with Google. If I add notes or descriptions, this description is now in Google. If I have a Zoom meeting, not that you would ever join Zoom from here, but if that is in Google, it comes here and I can see that meeting information if I need to. It's just, it's, it's really amazing and I can edit things and I can add in different descriptors and I can do it with the handwriting keyboard. All of that is able to be done from this screen. And so now the only thing is there's no way to jump directly from to do without going or from the calendar without going back to the quick access. But there we are with the to do something that Supernote hasn't even touted. The fact that you can multiply, you know, do multiples of these different pieces with one piece of text. Let's now take a minute and I'm going to show you and walk you through because it's one thing to show you that I created that, but I want to show you kind of how it's not hard to do. It's pretty easy actually, but you have to remember you need to start from a note for this process to work. So that may seem a little counterintuitive. It would be really cool if they allowed you to link a to do to a notebook. That would be genius because then you could create them using your keyboard on your desktop app pull them in and then tie them or create a new notebook from the, the to-do. That would really increase the viability or the value of that workflow. But we'll do it the way we need to for now. 